Hi guys, Robert one here coming at you with a new Yu-Gi-Oh! video. And today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video is going to be talking about basically where the format is going. Um, seeing as we just got Flames of Destruction released to us and we've got a couple of new archetypes came out in that. And seeing as the format, well, it's May 1st for me at least, May 2nd when this video is out. Um, and we haven't got a ban list. I thought, seeing as it's kind of obvious that we're not going to get one until at least the um, the Flames of Destruction Special Edition when we get this Grand Soul reprint. I thought it would be a good idea to bring a video to you guys just for some fun. Talk about uh, where the format is kind of going and what potential ideas you could use to actually play this format. Um, seeing as Flames of Destruction is released, uh, we technically have the set doesn't officially get released until Thursday, but we got the sneak peek, so that's good enough. Um, and I thought it would be nice to just talk about a little thing like that. So, yeah. Um, so let's start off why I wanted to make this video. Well, the first reason why I wanted to make this video is because of Autogeist's release. Um, and with Autogeist being released, uh, well, not the whole archetype, uh, Multifaker specifically being released, it kind of changes this pers this pers the perspective of the format. Um, because the format originally, or where it was coming from, um, was, oh, you've got to be playing a fast deck that really wants to go first, such as Trick Stars, because it can hand loop you, um, such as Magicians, because it can build a board of negates or just kill you turn two really easily, True Draco, because Amano Iwato, um, or any sort of deck like that that could go really fast. Even World Chalice was a deck that you could play and would be really, really good. Or even 60 cards. And with Autogeist, that kind of changes it a bit. Um, Autogeist is more of a slower deck that likes to control the board instead of just, you know, build a board of negates. And it can build a board of negates. I'm not saying it can't. Um, thanks to Protocol and um, the Link 2 that can tribute to negates building traps. Um, but it can't do that consistently. It can't do that turn one, whereas this deck more is a bit more like Paleo, but a little more advanced to Paleo, because the deck can actually make a Kirin with Multifaker that was that's actually quite powerful. Um, and looking at it from and because thanks to Multifaker, it kind of changes the format a bit in my opinion, purely because um, looking at it as whole, um, the format before we had Multifaker was oh. Uh, we want to make a very fast deck, it can deal with pretty much everything, it can kill your opponent very easily, um, it can combo off very easily, it can negate your opponent very easily. That's the kind of deck that was in the format. But thanks to Multifaker's release, um, and seeing as we're going to get Brandish soon as well, um, I feel like the game is going to maybe slow down a little because of, Brand because of, it, because of that deck. Um, because the thing that Altergeists like to do is it likes to deal with your opponent in a way that can stop them from just doing a lot. Um, and the way they do that, well, the way the deck does this is it makes a board usually consisting of a ton of floodgates um, with a floodgates with pretty much any other sort of Kirin. Well, we're just Kirin in general. Um, it likes to build a board with a Floodgate, a Monster Negate, and a Kirin. And that's something that the deck really does like to do. Uh, from playing it quite a bit, like I've been testing it, I've got the core, I'm just wait, I just need to get some multi-figures. Um, and looking at that, I feel like the format's going to change thanks to that deck. Um, originally, I feel like the format was just pure combo, build a board, uh, you try to break this. But now... I feel like the deck's going to slow down, the get, because of that deck, the game is going to slightly change a little, where you actually have to consider, oh, these trap decks that weren't as powerful are actually really powerful, and thanks to um, decks like this is, uh, thanks to decks like um, Multifakers in Arrival, uh, Autoguide's Survival, um, I feel like we're going to be seeing a, a, more, a rise more in trap-based decks, such as maybe uh, Barrier Stun, or... Or Paleo, we're going to see a rise in those sort of decks because <clears throat> thanks to Autogeist, we're going to enter a format where the format is going to slow down a bit, and that's something I've actually been thinking about a lot. And don't get me wrong, we're still going to be seeing decks such as True Draco, Magician, um, 
True Draco Magician and Light 60 cards in the format. Um, that's not going to change in the slightest. We're going, still going to be seeing these decks in the format. Um, that, that, that definitely will not change because that's something that... Um, has been in the format staple for a while, and they will still be the best deck. But I feel like Autoguys are going to cr crouch their way into the best decks, thanks to this. And seeing as that is an actual uh, option, um, thanks to Autogeist's multi-faker, um, it really is powerful, because the thing with Autogeist is they can run a ton of trap cards, a ton of floodgates, and they don't really care. Um, and the floodgates that I mainly think about when I'm thinking about how to, you know, stop this format are as floodgates like Imperial Order, Anti Spell, um, Rivalry of the Warlords, uh, anything that can literally just counter the format. And thanks to that, I feel like the day the game's gonna hit that wall, that bit where it's like, oh crap, this is actually gonna be a thing, and. Looking at it from that perspective, I feel like thanks to Autogeists, um, it's like the format's going to change. And we're still going to be seeing, as I said, Magicians, 60 Cards, um, Trick Stars, um, True Draco. We're still going to see those. But we're probably going to see an eruption in decks like Paleozoic, decks like Trap Stun. Um, no, not Trap Stun, sorry, Counter... Um, Barrier stun, um, anything, uh, maybe an inspector border deck. Uh, we're gonna see more stun based decks arise thanks to Autogeist, and that is something that really does make me think because it's like, oh, um, we're going to be going into a sort of half stun, half combo based format, which is really interesting because it means that again, well, it just means that we're gonna go into a die roll format again, which is not the best, but. It's still really interesting to see that these stun-based decks can come back and actually flourish a bit. Um, because, like, honestly, with with the additions of specific cards in the um, format, um, thanks to Flame Destruction, like, in all t thanks to Flame Destruction, we've got the New World Chalice support, basically, which is the Nightmares, um, with Nightmare Unicorn, with um, Nightmare Goblin, which can give you additional normal summons, um, with Nightmare Griffin, that's kind of a bit of a floodgate, and that's a combo-based deck that really can combo off really easily. And seeing as we're going to be getting all this new stuff, thanks to Flames of Destruction, uh, we're going to see a big change in the format. We're going to see more World Chalice decks, I feel, because of the tr Troy Mist. We're going to see guys flourish a lot, thanks to Multifaker. We might even see some Element Sabers, Elemental Lords, thanks to the Element Saber R-Type. I don't think they're amazing, um, but they, we might see one or two top or regional. Um, and there's just so much decent stuff. And again, in turn, this will also incline us to side cards like Red Reboot, thanks to st stuff like this, which is just an amazing card. Like, Red Reboot as a super, I honestly thought that was going to be the secret compared to um, Impertinence. I feel like Impertinence should have been the super, because it's nowhere near as good as Red Reboot in this kind of scenario. But... Honestly, guys, um, in my opinion, we're going we're going into a new type of format where we're going to be seeing a lot of combo, but also a lot of stun variants. Um, we're going to be seeing a lot of stun. We're going to see a lot of barrier stun. We're going to see a lot of um, uh, border stun patrol. We're going to see a lot of the auto guys. We're going to see a lot of paleo. But on the flip side, we're also going to be seeing a lot of magicians, a lot of Draco. Um, a lot of light 60 cards. We're going to be seeing a balance in a format sort of like thing. Like, thanks to this edition of Altergeist Multifaker, um, we're basically going to hit a format where it's balanced. Like, honestly, we're hitting the balance of traps and spells. Finally, like, thanks to Autogeist, I feel like the format is finally going to be somewhat trap-related as well and somewhat just spell and monster-related. Like, honestly, before this... Um, the only things you saw in people's decks was spells. You didn't see anything outside of a spell card. And now with the addition of Multifaker, I feel like we're going to be seeing the more bit stun-based decks appear, thanks to that sort of thing. And it's really interesting to see that, guys. But, um, that's 
that's what I have to say, honestly. Um, we're going to go into a more balanced format with more stun-based variants, with more um, combo-based variant decks, just thanks to this new set of Flames of Destruction. And Flames of Destruction giving us this these uh, Troymares to give a boost to any sort of link-based deck. Um, we can even see Gokis arise. Like, I believe I've, they've topped some events. Yeah. But, but yeah, we, we can see these decks somewhat... Come flourish in these formats, all because of stuff like the Troymares, all because of stuff like Altergeist Morphic, all because of like Red Reboot. Like we can see this stuff flourish, and it's really, really cool to see that. But guys, that's the video. Tell me what you think of this format. Do you think this um, in the com? Tell me all of that in the com tell me all of this in the comments section below. Do you think this format is going to enter a more combo-based format? Do you think this format is going to enter a more a balanced state with the with more traps and more monsters and more spells in it like honestly i feel like we're finally going to see a balance in the format between monsters spells and traps like there's always been that imbalance where traps were never used and it was just more majority of spells and trap on monsters but i feel like we're finally going to hit that balance but yeah guys that's the video. Tell me what you think of it in the conversation below. Um, do you honestly think this format is going to be balanced? I personally feel like it's going to hit that point where we're in a balanced state and everything's good and no one's having problems. Um, I feel like we're finally going to hit that, but obviously I could be wrong, um, but it's just something nice to think about. But yeah, guys, um, tell me what you think of all of that in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to press the like button to show that you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos like this. Um, if you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! content from me, don't forget to press the subscribe button to see that those videos in your subscription box. And if you want to be notified of those future Yu-Gi-Oh! videos as well, don't forget to press the notification button to be notified of those videos. Um, also, guys, don't forget, tomorrow at 8 p.m., I am going to be streaming um, Last of Us again. I am in a bit of a hitch there. And... Um, um, it's not going to be easy to get out, but hopefully I'll be able to get out, um, hopefully, like I'm really low on resources, but remember 8pm UK time tomorrow, I will be streaming, um, but yeah guys, uh, that's the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as I said, um, and I feel like we're hitting a balanced format, we're going to hit a balanced format, it's going to be interesting guys, but yeah, uh, that's the video, as I said, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time, thanks for watching, we're about one, signing out. Multi Faker, you really did this. Bye, guys.